The year is 2045. Humanity, having finally achieved faster than light travel, embarks on its first interstellar voyage, a vessel christened the Celestial Pioneer, bound for a distant, Earth like exoplanet named Kepler 186f. Aboard are a thousand colonists, scientists, and a contingent of the Earth Defense Force, EDF, humanity's elite soldiers, chosen to safeguard the mission and the future of the human race on this new world. Kepler 186f, they discover, is not uninhabited. A technologically advanced civilization, the Hosians, have thrived there for millennia. Their society, however, resembles a medieval kingdom, ruled by a benevolent King Zardok and protected by an order of valiant knights clad in gleaming chrome armor. The Hosians, peaceful by nature, welcome the humans with open arms, viewing them as curious visitors from the stars. However, amidst the human delegation, a shadow simmers, General Vargas, the ruthless commander of the EDF. Obsessed with conquest and fueled by a twisted sense of human exceptionalism, Vargas sees the Hosian's naivete as a weakness to exploit. He hatches a plan to seize control of Kepler, 186F's resources and establish human dominance over the Hosians. Vargas' plan unfolds like a venomous serpent. He manipulates the Hosian king, whispering tales of impending threats from the cosmos, subtly urging him to integrate the EDF into his own army. Blinded by trust, King Zardok agrees. Vargas, now with a foothold, begins subtly sabotaging Hosian infrastructure, framing it as malfunctions or acts of the cosmos the humans are there to protect against. The Hosian knights, though valiant, are no match for the EDF's advanced weaponry and tactics. Vargas stages a surprise attack on a peaceful Hosian city, pinning the blame on rogue human colonists. Panic and outrage engulf the Hosians, fracturing their trust in the humans. The king, heartbroken and deceived, is forced to surrender. Vargas' victory is short-lived. The Hosians, though defeated, are not broken. Led by Princess Amara, the king's wise and courageous daughter, they wage a guerrilla war, utilizing their knowledge of the land and superior numbers to harass and disrupt the EDF's occupation. Amara, unlike her father, sees the true nature of the humans and rallies her people to resist. The tide turns when a group of disillusioned EDF soldiers, witnessing the horrors Vargas inflicts, defect and join the Hosian resistance. Together, they expose Vargas' manipulations to King Zardok, who, filled with remorse, rallies his remaining loyal knights to fight alongside the humans who chose to stand with them. The final battle is a desperate struggle for freedom. The combined Hosian and human resistance forces overwhelm the remaining EDF loyalists. Vargas, cornered and defeated, is captured. In the aftermath, the Hosians rebuild their shattered kingdom, forever marked by the scars of human betrayal, but also forever grateful to the humans who chose to fight for their freedom. Kepler, 186F becomes a symbol of unity, a testament to the power of resistance against tyranny, and a stark reminder that even in the vast expanse of space, the human capacity for both good and evil remains a constant. The celestial pioneer, once a vessel of conquest, leaves Kepler, 186F carrying a different message, a message of hope, forged in the fires of war, for a future where humanity can coexist with other civilizations, not as conquerors, but as equals.